the payment that was being requested in, uh, in accordance with the management services agreement. Now, the fact that those expenditures had already been made was creating a cash flow problem for Swimsy, and there was an urgency to their request. And a very uh, impassioned plea was made to expedite the payment that was made, that was due in December, and that and an assurance was given that it would be used as required by the management services agreement. Um, and as a result of that, uh, the board decided to act on the advice given verbally as long as a written confirmation of the equipment that was going to be paid for was provided. And given the exigency of the circumstances, action was taken at that meeting and reported out of the closed session in open session. Within a day of taking that action, I made a recommendation that this matter be rescheduled and reconsidered at the next regular meeting of the Board of Directors because there is a bit of a disconnect between going into a closed session for anticipated litigation and coming out of closed session and saying, we're going to make the payment due under the Management Services Agreement now. And accordingly, I felt that it was appropriate so that there could be a public discussion and greater transparency on the part of the board to have this matter reconsidered at this meeting so that the public could be participating in the discussion, they could hear the reasoning for it, and ask questions about it if they deemed that necessary. And that is why you see on your agenda for tonight's meeting an item that talks about reconsideration of the approval of the payment made from tax revenues to SWIMC. That's the purpose of this meeting. And, of course, and under the Brown Act, one of the remedies for a violation of the Brown Act uh, that involves action taken that's not properly agendized, uh, one of the ways to remedy that problem is to re-agendize the issue for reconsideration. And that, that is a de that's deemed a cure under the Brown Act for any violation that was made of whether it was properly agendized or not. I think the exigency of the circumstances had a necessitated immediate action, but that didn't, I don't think it justified not allowing the public to hear what, what the thought process was and to ask questions about it. So that is why this is on the agenda for reconsideration tonight. Uh, the, the action, it is an action item, it, so the, the idea is that there will be a motion of some sort made on whether or not to approve and ratify the payment that was made in accordance with the management services agreement. And, and it's my advice to the board that uh, given a chance for the public to participate in that discussion and have a hearing on that in open session, uh, will cure any potential problems that may have arisen as a result of the way in which it was handled on December 6th. Uh, excuse me, on January 6th. Okay, thank you, Bill. Alana, do you want to add anything? No, I think you've said everything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, first, we'll go to the board. Any board members wish to make a comment? Okay. Public, let's see. Start with Dan. I have a couple of questions, and I have to tell you I'm disappointed. But I know you are better than this. I do. You guys have a history. <coughs> so, welcome to the history of Paul Doug. Was there someone else in the meeting other than those listed on the... There was, there was a request for input on the question of whether there's potential litigation or not. The, there, there was a potential for litigation in this matter. Who else was in attendance? Okay. Those who were able to shed light on how the money was to be used. So you deny, here's the deal. It's right there in uh, oh, 5.4 of the MS. Okay. We all know, we've all been here waiting for this moment to occur when Palm Drive is going to give swim seat a million dollars. There is no secret. There is no reason for a closed session on this item. Case law, there is some. The public knew this was going to occur, and yet you chose to do it behind closed doors. Just because he said so or not doesn't matter. You all are still board members and have a mind of your own. You have to realize how bad this really looks, especially to us that are trying to detach. But everyone here should realize that. A million dollar request, $600,000, isn't chump change for this hospital. 
it deserves to be discussed, and it will be, I understand that, in open public session. But this was something that we all knew was were coming, and we were waiting for it. And in fact, you should have put it on the agenda for January. It should have been there. You owed it in December. It was in the contract. So I don't know what's fuzzy here, but something looks really suspicious that you purposely said it right two days after after a regular meeting when you could have discussed it, you had a closed session and then approved it, and now you've actually spent the money once again, and now you're coming back to rectify that. It's really frustrating. You do it habitually. And it would really be nice if you would look down the road, plan better, and hold those discussions in open public session. You knew you owed the money in December after you got the taxes. The next meeting was January. It would have been appropriate to put it on there for discussion. We would have all been here and enjoyed the discussion. And now we have to go through this again. I don't understand. I wonder why we want to take our 10000 and get the heck out of here.